welcome back to Tales of Arise, where we are taking the time to sort out some of the uh, side missions for our characters. So uh, in the last episode, we just uh, completed a very heartfelt side mission for Law, uh, Mixed Feelings. We uh, uncovered a letter left by his uh, late fa- by Law's late father, uh, Zephyr. Thought it was a very, very, uh, very, very sweet little message that was uh, left behind for him. And so, in a similar vein, we are going to carry on now and see if we can get some more of these touching moments with the rest of our cast of characters. So, I think first thing is we have to go see a wedding. So into the temple we go for this uh, long overdue wedding between the uh, the Danan and the Renan. What are their names? Noctio, Notio, and something. Actually, let's just see constant vigilance quickly. I never thought about this until now, Alfin. But doesn't it get hot wearing that armor all the time? You feel heat and cold again, don't you? Admittedly, yeah. It can get pretty toasty in this thing. Is it hard when your back starts to itch? Oh, you bet. Plus, my shoulders get stiff wearing it, even if it's not all that heavy. Kisara looks like she manages all right with her armor. Armor takes a strong body and a stout heart. Spoken like a true guardsman. Not that I really get what you mean. <laughs> the more I think about it, the more I realize what a pain it must be. Like, what do you do when you need to take a leak? Ew! That part can be a bit of a pain, yeah. More things to take off. That sucks, man. Wouldn't it be easier if you just walked around outside of your armor most of the time instead? You never know when the enemy might attack. As tempting as it might be to take it off, it's not worth getting killed over. So basically, you're screwed if you ever get attacked while taking a dump. Right, Oh Rinwell? my word. Are you doing this on purpose? Didn't Kisara say something about maybe not talking about that in front of uh, romantic partners or something? Oh dear, the kid's still got a lot to learn. And clearly that um, cutscene was intended for before we got this latest armor. Which is basically just like a wedding suit. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lord Dohalim, thank you for coming. <laughs> Dohalim, you're here. Great. Let's get right to business. Everyone is waiting for you to speak. Kagari, oh. that's her name. My, this is quite the gathering you all have assembled. Uh, all the more reason to make sure I don't disappoint. Ahem. <clears throat> thank you all for coming. Today, I wish to forego the usual formalities and ask for your blessings on this most auspicious day. Uh, I first met Sonotio and his soon-to-be wife, Kagari, when... This is gonna take a while. Now then, a toast to the loving couple's eternal happiness, as well as peace and prosperity between Dana and Rena. Cheers, Cheers. everyone. Cheers! <laughs> Alright, time for the big bouquet toss. You know, Shion, I hear that if you can't catch a bouquet at a wedding, you'll always be single and alone. What? Wait, really? <laughs> yeah! A <laughs> toast. Yay! <laughs> Aww. Nice, nice try, try, you two. two. Better luck next time. Never. Why? Wait. Something's wrong. I... I couldn't catch it. I'll always be... alone. How could I... Oh, please. I'm so lonely. Oh no. This is just like what happened before. Alfin! I'm alone. I'm alone. Uh -oh. What can I do to get her to snap out of it? There aren't any thorns this time. Oh, I've got it. Alvin? Shion, you're not alone. You've got all of us. And it wasn't just one bouquet either. Uh, oh, he's not gonna say it all? Okay. Uh, you've got all the... Besides, there'll be plenty more bouquets to catch. There's also this one from me. Oh, please. <laughs> so please, don't give up. Yeah, okay, the, the text seems a bit different now. Uh, you hear me? We'll fight this together. Not going anywhere, so stay strong. Shion. You dummy! That's not what I was upset about. How many times do I need to tell you not to blindly rush into things? Oh. That said, it does make me feel better. Even if your bouquet is just a weapon named after one. Oh, what the hell? I'm just glad I could help. And I made another one to go with it, so it wouldn't be lonely either. Yeah. 
You never cease to amaze me, Alfin. Seriously. Caritas bouquet. Wedding cake cutter. Oh, nice one. Oh, and we unlocked something on a Dohu. Transcendent matchmaker. Very good. All right, we're getting there. What does this one do? Resistance 50. You've collected an awful lot of those objects. You sure it's not just ju Hush, be quiet for a moment. The pieces speak to me. What? These relics that have scattered about. I can hear them whispering, longing to reunite with their lost friends and become one again. Really? Do you hear any voices coming from them, Rinwell? What? No! Don't get me wrong, I'm really interested in these things too, but I'm not crazy. But don't you sometimes mutter stuff like, Come to me, astral energy, when you cast your arts? <sighs> you... you're right. Oh my gosh. Are Dohalim and I actually alike? Its charm really shines through now that it's been reassembled. Its streamlined shape, its geometric patterns. This is no mere amateur's work. He's in his own little world at this point. You get just like him when it comes to weapons, you know. <laughs> You're right. Oh my gosh. Am I just like Dohalim? Huh? Why are you guys so quiet all of a sudden? Feeling better now, Xion? I'm sorry I lost my cool like that. Don't worry. It's not like I have any room for criticism. Being a grown-up isn't easy, is it? Okay. Let us take a look. So, I believe we have another quest here. An old Dake Faisal. Let's go to it. That was quite the little adventure we went on. I feel like somebody's watching us. Okay, let's talk to him. Maybe there's someone around here. Yes. Uh, remind me, you two were both born in this current generation of Renners, correct? That would put 100 years between us. Uh, which would make me akin to your ancestor, to your generation. As such, I have an opportunity for you to demonstrate the respect due to elders like me. Hmm. Perhaps I'm reading into things too much, but in such respect, truly merited in this instance? I couldn't tell you one way or the other, but it seems like he needs help with something. Just listen to what I have to say right now. Uh, you see... Excuse hold on, me. I can't let you go any further. I had a feeling this was going to happen. You always try to beat me to the punch with these things. I'm surprised to hear you object. I thought you understood that sometimes the quest for knowledge requires that we get our hands dirty. That's exactly why I can't simply stand here and let you do this. I could be losing out on a valuable opportunity. Then let's make it fair, shall we? We'll both give them our requests. It works for me. I have no objections. <sighs> My head is starting to hurt trying to follow these two. There must be some. They must be pretty strong if even you admit them. <laughs> uh, I don't know what you two want from us, but don't expect us to agree to anything. Hey! What's that? Are you simply going to walk past an elderly person who's in distress? <laughs> uh, I don't think the generation gap has gotten so wide that young people forget their manners. How unfortunate. Really? All right, all right. We'll hear you two out. Uh, but one matter at a time. We're pe busy people ourselves with our own matters to attend to. Fair enough. In that case, I can wait. You go first. Thank you. Now, as I was about to say before, uh, I'd like you to go all down to the surface of Renna and track down a certain experimental Zoogle subject of mine. It's a failed specimen. I ejected it from Dake Faisal, thinking that would dispose of it, but it seems to have survived the trip in space. What? You threw it out into space? That's so cruel. And you wish for us to finish the job, I gather. Uh, that's partly what I need you to do. More importantly, I need you to collect tissue from said Zoogle. I never would have predicted that it would arrive on Renna alive and well. It merits further scientific investigation. Why not simply go there yourself? Then you could research the creature to your heart's content. Proper field studies aren't my area of expertise. From what I gather, you people are better equipped for such strenuous work than I'll ever be. I see. I thought I was being mindful of how I presented myself, but apparently not. Hmm, sounds like someone's a little lazy to me. Ah, uh, okay, we'll handle it. Agreed. I have rather mixed feelings. I won't make any firm promises on whether we shall deliver, but if it works for you, we'll look into it. Very I'm nice. pleased to see my predictions about you weren't unfounded. In that case, go on and get to work. Uh, the rest of my research is being held up by this, so the sooner you finish this, the better. Uh, I should also mention, the Zoogle in question is a six-armed giant. 
It's extremely violent specimen, so be careful when dealing with it. Oh, of course. Of course. Tissue sample. Dohalim, the line of researchers is getting longer. Perhaps I should have put more thought into this before accepting. Uh, let's have a quick equipment check. I think we're okay. Life bottles, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, we look good. Now let us go down to Rena. How do we do that? Um, here, I suppose. Yeah. There she is. A six-armed giant. Is this the Zugal from the request? It's not only alive, but completely uninjured. We we'll just have to see for ourselves if it's really as ferocious as they say. Oh, actually, quickly. I wanted to take a look at this new knife that we got. Good grief, look at that. The wedding cutter cake is more dangerous, does more damage than the thing we've got. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to be equipping that. Oh, yes, we're going to be equipping that. Let's just make sure that they match. Yes, and yes, and let's get to it. Wow. Calamity arms. No choice. Maybe I should be attacking this thing from the front again. Law, can you do anything? Doha's, you got anything? Okay, nice one, Kasara. Okay, let's hit him hard. Okay. Let's do it, Alfin. Let's do it. Mr. Cops O'Clock. Oh, there we go. That's what we wanted. A nice core break. Okay, is he gonna charge? What's he gonna do? Oh, Shion! How about some of this? How about some of that, buddy? Okay, let's hit him. Let's do it. Boom. Nice one. Thank you, Dohas. Okay, we are getting there. 
and now he's gonna start to get like mad and tough, right? Oh, you you killed Dohas. Oh. Oh, just missed out on it. Okay, let's uh, bring ourselves back. Oh, yikes, that was close. Doha's, you got anything for this? Kisara? No. Oh, did that work? I think that worked. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, we're doing it. Good, good, good. Let's just stay in the healing circle. Healing circles are what her arts do best, yep. Oh boy, here we go. Oh god. Okay. Alright, come on. Let's not do anything silly now. I feel like we're doing well. And I'd like that feeling to remain true. Okay. Is she bringing back Doha's? She's not, is she? Oh, well, she might now. Hang on. No, she's not. Okay, let's bring back Doha's. Oh! I thought we got out of there. We dodged, for goodness sake. Okay, let's heal again. Doha's, you got anything? Did that work? I think that worked. Well done. Oh, dude. You need regenerations are too slow. Nice one, Shion. Okay, Law, can you help us out? Kisara, can you do anything? Okay, maybe we can do this? There we go, bit of boost break. Okay, come on guys, come on, we can do this, I think. Okay, guys, come on. Everyone get stuck in. Everyone, please get stuck in. Boom! What I like to see. Let's do it. Finish him off with style. Awesome source. Astral flower. We beat it in the end. Let us harvest what we can use and take it with us. Built for the sake of it and then cast aside. How sad. Yeah, it was a bit, um, was a bit sad. But, yeah, that, that's, what, that's what they get. I mean, honestly. 
going around tampering with stuff like this, genetically modifying Zoogles. I mean, what did they expect was going to happen? Who did they that expect quite the little adventure we they could have recruited to sort it out? If not us, then who? Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. Not tonight, Shion. I'm afraid we're going to be camping again. Uh, we found the Zoogle you inquired about on Renna and vanquished it. Here was the tissue we managed to collect from it. Yes. Oh, wonderful. Looks like I was right to ask for your help. Hee <laughs> hee, I can't wait to analyze all of this. I don't know that I'll ever be able to see eye to eye with your an our ancestors. It's going to take a lot of doing, that's for sure, but I think you'll pull through. Once again, you are overconfident in my abilities in such matters, Kisara. It's not overconfidence. <laughs> After all, uh, you sure bridged the gap between Donans and Renans. Uh, um. <laughs> so, you're finished with them now, right? I can take my turn now? Yes, do as you like. I'm going to return to my research now. Great. Okay, now this guy's got a mission for us. What's his mission? Hey, if we find anyone who needs... I've been waiting for you all. Now it's finally my turn, so listen up and listen good. I'll cut right to the chase. I have something I want you people to fight. Again? Oh, no surprise. Uh, why do you always sound so arrogant when asking us to do stuff? That doesn't matter here. What I want you to all to fight is a prototype creature that I spe spe uh, specially synthesized. Yeah. All these people seem to talk about is their prototypes and their experiment subjects. Is everyone like that around here? Yeah, why the hell did they have to go to make such tr uh, make something so obnoxious? Why, for the pursuit of knowledge. I have an endless fascination with just how strong individual creatures can get. The difficult part is determining whether something is truly the strongest thing out there. If it defeats a strong opponent, you can be confident it's stronger than them at least, but it's hard to find a truly satisfying opponent. But then you all appeared, as if answering my call. I hear you are uh, all quite the hardened warriors. Thus, I want to have you fight my creation so I can finally know which of you is stronger. Yeah. Well, when you put it like that, it's hard for us to turn you down. Hey. What do you think you're doing? We have an important stuff to take care of. Uh, what happens if one of us gets hurt? We've got nothing to worry about. Uh, we're more than ready for whatever this guy might throw at us. Let's do it, right here, right now. So what, are we doing it here? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, we can't do it here. We'd be in serious trouble if any would blow up out of the ho hole in the station while you fight. I already have a good spot lined up down on Dana. I'll transport you all there. I expect good results from you all. I assume you're ready to fight now? Uh, not just yet. Well, Need time to prepare for us. I see. Hmm. I see why you're such experts. Ugh, okay, well... Yeah, it looks like we will... Yeah, let's rest here then. And yeah, let's certainly do some cooking. Dark mark, attack up. Yes, please. This is perfect! I'll have everybody's mouths watering when they see this! <laughs> Great. Now where... I was sure this place had a shop on it or something. Oh, blast. We shouldn't have done that, should we? Oh, we should have gone and camped. Oh, that was a bit silly. Hmm. Okay. All right, okay, not the end of the world. God damn it, where's the, uh... Mahogsa, no. Judging by the stench, I'd say the animals at the ranch are all grown now! <laughs> all right, let's, um... restock up on our life bottles. We can get 12 this time, I think. Um... That's... Fine, we could. We could get more. Okay, let's get let's get a couple more. Let's get a couple more. Why not? And we are okay there. Uh, can we sell anything? Yes, but I don't think it's urgent. And of course, let's manage the ranch. Where are those rat pigs? Can we forge anything? Let's just check. No. Those ominous eyeballs. How do we get those? We're getting there with the old dragon blood. That's good. 
hollow edge, no. No, 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 no. Ooh. We could get sacred karma. No, I, w I want the dragon blood. We could get this. Deus Aurora. Look at that. Hmm. Yeah, I think we've got to do it. Doha's dishing up more damage. Yes, please. Omnis Eyeball, we need that. Old Law. We... No, I don't want to spend Dragon Blood. Yeah, and her, she's fine. You can never be too prepared, but did we have to spend so much? Yes, we did, Kasara. Yes, we did. Stop, you know, stop giving us hell for that. That's just how we roll, goddammit. Sometimes we've got to spend money to make gains, or to make combat easier. But we don't go crying about it every two minutes, do we? Uh, we finally made it. Let's see what's going on around here. Okay. Yeah. Final equipment check. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Yes. I think we're good. Let's do it. And who could use our help? Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. You've seen all this. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hmm. Let's go. Got it. Very well. An ambition fulfilled. This is the Vicent training ground. Hey, you see that in Hell Camp? Well, is it some sort of prototype? Whatever it is, it's a real tough customer. Illuminate the spirit of you. This is looking good. Land, Rending you apart. You know, aren't you being interrupted? Here's the evil. You're mine. Okay, what is this thing? Law, you got anything here? Have we got anything? Yes. There we go. Oh, God, I walked right into that. Walked right into that one. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, yeah, nice one. Run well. Okay, let's boost break, let's attack, let's do it. Okay, maybe I should heal. Uh, grape gel. Run well, cancel, please. Boom! There we go. Doha's. Here I go. 
Renwell, can you cancel, please? Thank you. Law, can you do anything? Alright, let's bring ourselves back. Okay, come on, guys, we're doing this. We are doing this. Slowly but surely, we are doing this. I mean, I know I say that every single battle, but I mean, that's the approach. Oh, god damn it. That's the approach when hopefully we're not dying all the time. But we do die a lot, which is fine. Okay. Look sharp. Lightning tiger. Nice one. Renwell, can you cancel that? Thank you, love. Lord, you fancy getting stuck in? Dohas, you wanna do anything? God damn it, god damn it, what is going on? Okay, is one of you gonna bring us back? Oh, let's get out of there. Yay. Let's boost break him. Or her. It's a her, right? I mean, it's the red woman. Or actually, maybe it could be any one of the red women, so maybe we should use the indefinite article the they. Yeah, they they could be anyone. Renwell, cancel it. Law, help us out. Okay. Oh god damn it, I got cocky. Glory seeking, that's what we call it. Dohas, you got anything? Oh. Renwell, can you cancel it? Nice one. Thank you for bringing us back instead of uh, Doha's. Even though tactically that probably wasn't the wisest thing we could have done. Okay, actually, I'd like to consume an orange gel. Boom, there we go. Yeah, just because I know that in these, uh... The... Okay, here we go. Kassara, get stuck in, please. Runwell, cancel. Yeah, because I know that in the last couple of phases of a boss's life, they just go, like, crazy tough. I don't know if they get actual stat bonuses or whatnot, but they just get mega tough. God damn it, we still not brought back Dohas yet. We're approaching the end game here. Oh. Yikes, okay. See, this is what I mean. This is, um... Yeah. Okay, we might as well bring him back. Go on. Let's do it, let's do it. Awesome source. How about it? Booyah, we kicked that thing's ass. Did you make sure you'd record it? Indeed I did. I can't believe my creation lost. I sure have 
I should have egg on my face now. Uh, yeah. We were wondering though, was why was that uh, Helanquil? Oh yeah, that. Uh, isn't that like what you all serve? It only physically resembles one on the outside. Its internal biology is otherwise entirely different. To make my creation stronger, I took elements from the Overseer and put them together. Wait, huh? you used parts of Helvrick to make it? Who cares? We beat it. That's what matters. Which is fine by me. I've already explained what it is I'm truly after. I don't get this guy at all. Mm -hmm. Thanks to you all, I now have valuable recordings to examine. Oh, I have an idea. What if I took elements from you all and... Pass. <laughs> <laughs> Alas. Well, if you ever change your minds, let me know. Not That's not happening. Ever. Uh, if you insist. Regardless, I will now crown you all champions of the void. Champions Whoa. of the... Void? Seriously? That's right. It's a title I feel is befitting for having managed to fell a creation of mine. One of Dake Faisal's great geniuses. Champion <laughs> of the Void. Champion of the Void. Hey, you know, that kind of has a nice ring to it. If you ever call yourself that in front of anyone else, I'm going to pretend I don't know you. <laughs> of course, I can't let this loss stand. I'll be back with a brand new creation to reclaim my title. You can count on it. Haha, <laughs> I'd love to see you try. You can take us at any time. Seriously? Yeah, next time, uh, you get to do it alone, okay? And with that, I'll be taking my leave. I'm not the one. I'm not the only person who has business with you all. After that, great. Law space champion. Okay. To achieve such harmony takes a singular will. Not bad. Is it this guy again? Let's see what he's got to talk about now. <laughs> yes! Uh, I suppose it's my cue to talk. I wish you all could have been briefed on this ahead of time, though. Briefed mm -hmm. on what? Uh, well, seeing as we're scientists of Dake Faisal, we've been researching and developing zoogles of our own. And at last, mine is finally complete. A tough and highly destructive super zoogle in equal measure. Uh, someone else claimed this zoogle was the most powerful one as well. Lies. My zoogle strength puts that one to shame. That's why it's a super zoogle. Although we can't do anything other than beat up his targets. No. Bah, like it matters. Anyway, because of the slight miscalculation, the Super Zoogle has unfortunately escaped. To where? Hmm. Why didn't you say? Uh, indeed, to Dana. That um. dangerous thing's running loose down there? Uh, I'll remind you, it's not just dangerous. Like I said before, it's a tough and highly destructive Super Zoogle. Uh, that's not something to boast about. <laughs> Regardless of track its trajectory, and it appears to be located at a place I believe you refer to as Adan Lake. I take it you wish for us to exterminate it. Uh, yes. I suppose, though it hasn't caused any damage as of yet. Alright, we'll see what we can do. Uh, agreed, it poses a considerable risk. Very I eagerly nice. anticipate your results. After all, you people are supposed to be the strongest that humanity has to offer. That's right, so don't hesitate to beat it to a pulp. Oh, I should also mention that your target is essentially two zoogles in one. Have fun with that. Oh. Of course it's Seriously, two zoogles in one. What do they take us for? Research subjects, just like everything else. Of course. Well, let us go back to our favorite healing spot. That was quite the little adventure we went on. That was quite the little adventure, wasn't it? Judging by the stench. I'd say the animals at the ranch are all grown. And no, we're not selling. We are buying life bottles. Let's get seven of you, bad boys. We used a, an orange gel. Let's five. Yeah, let's get a few more orange gels. We did we use some peach gels? Then we use some grape gels. No, we should be okay with the old gels. Now. Yeah, we should be okay with that there. I think maybe just a little heal. And then... Check out Adan Lake at some point. You guys want to rest here? Yeah, let's rest here. What do we have? Kebab again? Hell yeah! There's no way you can complain about how this tastes! I'm not complaining. It's a good meal. 
Ooh, who are we gonna talk to now? Let's talk to Rinwell. Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? Mm -hmm. I'm surprised to see you up reading so late. What have you got there? Oh, it's a book about magic. I was hoping I'd reach the end of this chapter before I went to bed. I'm impressed you can read all that tiny text without drifting off. It's easy. Honestly, the subject is so interesting, it keeps me wide awake. Although I have to admit, the more I read this book, the more I realize just how much I still have to learn. I hate not knowing it all, so it pushes me to keep learning as much as I can so I can be a real expert. So that's why you're studying by the campfire every night, huh? You've really changed, Rinwell. R really I don't feel like it. Remember how you used to be when we first met in Calaglia? Sure, but that's because I was still hiding a lot from you guys. Am I really all that different aside from that? Definitely. It's the difference between a rock and the sun. Are you saying I used to be like a rock? That's not something you should use to describe a girl, Alfin. <laughs> My bad. But the comparison is still apt. You used to not be open with us about your magic at all. And now look at you. Well, I guess you may have a point. I used to hate studying magic because my parents made me do it. And after everything that happened, I... I felt like it brought nothing but trouble. But now, I don't think it's so bad after all. Maybe I really have changed more than I thought. All magic is simply astral energy combined with knowledge. It's neither good nor bad by itself. It all depends on how you use it. Saying it out loud, I guess I finally made peace with it. I think you have Law to thank for that. What? W why him? I mean, he was kind of the one who... Nope, he's got nothing to do with it. None. <laughs> Zilch. Nada. Nothing. <laughs> if Law heard that, he'd be pretty bummed, you know. Y you're crazy. I don't see why he would be. Are you saying you'd rather he wouldn't be? Uh, uh, I'd say the fact you can get so worked up about things now is another sign you've changed. Sounds like someone wants me to put on a little magic show. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll take my leave before I say anything else that might get me into trouble. Just make sure you aren't staying up too late, okay? Ugh, I'm not a little kid anymore. Yeesh. Though, actually, it felt kind of nice hearing that. I wonder why. Because you are basically a kid still, aren't you? We're now closer to Rinwell. Poodle, let me know if you sense anything. Uh, Aquarius Damnation. Another day, another gold. Okay. So where is this next bit? Adnan Lake, I believe? Where is that? Mahagsa. Oh, it's up there. What? Where is that? That is... Oh, that's there. Oh, okay. Um, all right. Let's transport over there. Ah, uh, we finally made it. Oh, what's this here? The mountains of mole hills. <sighs> Everything okay there, big guy? You look kind of pissed. I'll say. He looks like he wants to bite the head off something. What's eating at you? Come on, Alfin. You're gonna bring us all down if you keep that ferocious scowl on. Hmm? Uh, oh, sorry. Do I really look that ticked off? Yeah, it kinda makes you hard to talk to. So, what's bothering you? It's, uh... It's a pebble. A pebble? Snuck its way into the back of my boot. I can't seem to get rid of it. Oh, I totally get you. Weird how much it can get on your nerves, huh? Yeah. It's barely bigger than a grain of sand. 
So how come it feels like I'm walking around on hot nails? You know, maybe this is a crazy solution, but you could just take your boot off and give it a shake. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, of course. You're right. <laughs> Phew. It's like I've been given a new lease on life. Thanks for the tip, Shion. Seemed kind of obvious, but you're welcome. That's the trouble with windy places. All that fine debris ends up getting into your hair and clothes. Alfin, is it just me, or have you become extra sensitive ever since getting your sense of pain back? Now that you mention it, the other night at camp, there was a fly buzzing around that annoyed him so much, he unsheathed the blazing sword. <laughs> oh, God. So much for sensitive. That's just being a Mr. Cranky Pants. Nothing new on that front, then. What's the matter, Alfin? You look a little tense. <sighs> it's nothing, really. He wants to get angry, but knows that doing so would only prove our point. Hence the building frustration showing plainly on his face. Would you stop analyzing things for one minute? Point taken. Alright guys, we're going to take a quick break here. When we get back, yeah, we will consider taking out that super zoogle. And, um, yeah, bringing peace to this area of Dana. Well, or to this area of Adnan Lake, anyway. Um, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.